2009 was a very challenging year. We had the stock market issues, we had the financial breakdown, and as a result we had an inordinate amount of foreclosures nationally and locally to deal with. And so we had uncertainty. I think that was the biggest word that came into my mind on January 1st when I took office, uncertainty in the Houston market. Well, I think the biggest thing we did was to instill confidence in our agents that it, we were going to be okay, that the Houston market was going to be okay. We were going to deal with the situation. We were going to get rid of as many foreclosures uh, via sales as we can, and we were going to survive. And uh, I think it was the attitude and the determination that we were not going to succumb to the national malaise. We had so many instrumental things. Uh, Governor Perry signing two bills into law here at HAR that we had mentored and fostered and advocated for on the appraisal process was an incredible time. I think the involvement and the encouragement and the enthusiasm of our members in, in the HAR process was another big accomplishment. To see the people get involved and get energized and want to contribute and participate was another big thing. Oh, my feelings were incredible that day because I'm a, an advocate for political affairs, and I think it's important for the association and its members to be involved. And to see the numbers of people, over 300 Houston realtors coming to Austin, some for the very first time in their whole life, and finally getting it, getting to know that if you're in real estate, you're in politics, was an incredible, incredible day for me. The Asian American community showed up, the Hispanic community showed up, the suburban areas, Fort Bend, Montgomery County, Bay Area all showed up. We had participation inside the loop. It was just an incredible feeling to see that involvement. Well, I think we, we kicked off some very important programs last year. The, client rating system and to try to get our members to understand that we were going to advocate for the professionalism of the Houston Realtor and by asking our consumers what do you think we did and how did we do and to see them buy into that process was incredible. Um, we, we tried the, a media camp the very first digital media camp. And we sold out in the first day because our members wanted to know more about the information out there. And we provided it and continued to provide it. We did a surround sound training program from NAR who came and talked to our managers and, and agents about how to communicate everything. We took the lead on HVCC nationally and to hear the, the president of NAR advocate what Houston did at the leadership summit in Chicago just uh, strengthened that resolve. You know, we're the leader, we took stands, we took positions, and when Houston leads, the nation follows. I think that the biggest thing that any association has to contend with is relevancy. You know, are we going to continue to be relevant to our members and the people we serve? Are we going to provide the services, the information, the technology, the expertise to let them know that we are here to serve them and we're here to increase their bottom line and their professionalism? So I think those are the challenges that HAR had last year, this year, and into the future, particularly with this next-gen realtor, the Xers and the millenniums and uh, to, to remain relevant and remain transparent. I think those are two critical issues that HAR will continue to address and we have addressed. Learn as much as you can, 
as soon as you can. Get a broad base of information and get involved because the more you learn, the better you're going to serve your clients and consumers and the more fulfillment you're going to have. And by being involved, you're going to be able to exude a professionalism that this industry may requires and mandates. And it's going to promote the professionalism of the real estate industry for the years to come.